All right, so what we're going to do really quick, this is the original Xbox motherboard. Um, anything version 1.0 through 1.5 has a clock capacitor on the board um, that I would recommend going ahead and removing it just because when they start leaking, they can corrode your whole board, the whole thing. Um, well, not the whole thing, obviously, but anything around it, all the components around it. Um, so we want to go ahead and remove that. Who really needs a clock on their Xbox anyways? I know that I didn't mod my Xbox and put all this work into it to have a clock. <laughs> so anyways, um, right here it's going to be C7G2 and C7G3 on the motherboard. Top of it's marked blue here as you can see. So, we will go ahead and flip it over going to be those two points right here. One and two. One and two. So I usually start off uh, using a solder sucker and then use the uh, desoldering braid. So go ahead and uh, turn your iron on, warm it up. And then we'll go ahead get it warmed up a little there. And there's still a little bit too much there. All right, and now we just flip the board over. And then that one leg, one second here. Make sure you bend those pins over. It'll pull out a lot easier. All right, so as you can see, clock capacitor has now been removed. That's basically the video, guys. Now you won't have to worry about uh, that ever leaking, spewing onto your board and corroding everything. Uh, look it up. It, it happens all the time. Uh, version 1.6, you guys are lucky, kind of. You can't, you know, do a TSOP flash, but you don't have to worry about this. So that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching.